Dr. Fauci is back home recovering from West Nile virus. He was in the hospital for a week. How did he end up with West Nile virus? He says probably from a mosquito in his backyard. How did the mosquito get it? Likely the mosquito bit a bird that was infected with West Nile virus. West Nile virus is present in many types of birds. Many infected birds have no symptoms, but other birds become sick and die. Horses infected by West Nile virus may become ill and die. When there is a mysteriously sick or dead bird or horse around, this gives a clue that West Nile virus may be in that local area. A vaccine is available for horses. The virus is transmitted among birds and transmitted to humans mainly by a mosquito bite, but also can be transmitted by blood transfusion, organ transplants, or occasionally, if a pregnant woman has it, the West Nile virus can be transmitted to her unborn baby through the placenta. What are the symptoms? Dr. Fauci had chills and fever in a way that he had never experienced before. Additional symptoms include the following. Four out of five people with West Nile virus infection have no symptoms at all, or they may have mild symptoms. About one in five of the people with West Nile virus develop fever, along with other symptoms like a headache, body aches, joint pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rash. About one in 150 of the people with West Nile virus develop severe central nervous system involvement. When we're talking about the central nervous system, that's the brain and spinal cord. This could include encephalitis, meningitis, or paralysis, meaning the person may not be able to move his arms or legs or arms and legs. Other symptoms of central nervous system involvement include headache, stiff neck, a stupor, meaning the person may look like he or she is in a daze. The person may be disoriented. We think of that could be to person or place or time or situation. For instance, who the person normally knows, they can't identify the person. Like, who is that? I don't know. Place, where are they? They don't know where they are at the time. If they're in one state or another state even. Am I in South Carolina or am I in Georgia? I don't know. You know. Time. They may not know what year it is. They may name a year 50 years earlier if you ask them what year it is. Situation. They may not know what's going on at the time. The person could be in a coma, have tremors, that is, they're shaking, have convulsions, muscle weakness, vision loss, they can't see, numbness, a certain part of their body, they can't feel. If you touch it, they can't feel anything. Severe illness from this West Nile virus can affect any age, but for the ones that are more than 60 years of age or who have chronic medical conditions like diabetes or hypertension, these individuals are at greater risk. About 1 in 10 people with severe central nervous system involvement actually die. Legs and arms paralysis may progress to respiratory paralysis. This requires mechanical ventilation. And we're talking about respiratory. These are organs that help us to breathe, which are like the lungs and the diaphragm. So this is how a person with West Nile virus infection could end up on a ventilator. Most people with typical fever and muscle pain recover completely. But fatigue, meaning they're very tired and weakness, can last for weeks or even for months. Individuals who recover from West Nile virus infection, encephalitis or acute paralysis, often have lingering neurological deficits. Human symptoms of West Nile virus infection are often mild, include fever, nausea, headache, and muscle aches that may last from a few days to a few weeks. People above 50 years of age or those with weakened immune systems can experience meningitis, encephalitis, or even death. Diagnosis is by blood testing. Treatment is supportive care with close monitoring for severe infection. We can reduce our risk of getting West Nile virus 
by working to prevent mosquito bites. Let's remember three R's, reduce, repel, and report. Have tight fitting screens on windows and doors and repair or replace screens that have tears or other openings. Keep doors and windows shut closed. Once a week to help stop mosquitoes from breeding, remove standing water from around your residence. How? Eliminate or refresh. Empty out all outside items and containers with standing water. Where mosquitoes can breed like bird baths, ponds, flower pots, wading pools, old tires, and buckets or containers that hold water. Clear out leaves from the gutters or have someone to safely do this for you, like a professional. Mosquitoes are more active from dusk to dawn, so stay indoors from dusk to dawn as much as possible. Dusk is in the evening before it turns dark at night. Dawn is that time period early morning when light from the sun begins to appear. You're probably familiar with the expression at the break of dawn. When outside, especially when eating outdoors, use mosquito nets or fans. The next R is repel. Wear shoes and socks, black colored clothing, long pants, long sleeve shirts when outside if you're in one of these areas where West Nile virus is prevalent. West Nile virus has been detected in mosquitoes in 36 states in the United States. That is during this recent outbreak. Apply an EPA registered insect repellent that contains DEET, oil of lemon eucalyptus, PMD, or other EPA approved ingredients. I'll place them in the description of this video. Be sure to consult a pediatrician before you use any of these insect repellents on your little babies. Those infants, those are the ones who are less than a year old. Report. If you see water sitting stagnant for more than a week, like in roadside ditches, drainage ditches, retention ponds, or yards that are flooded, report these locations to the health department in your city or town. They might be able to add lava side to the water which will kill the mosquito larva, which is that immature mosquito or the time in the life of the mosquito before it forms wings. Because we know when it forms wings, because once it has wings, it can fly to your arms or your legs and bite you and possibly give you West Nile virus. Once you report it, the city or the health department can treat these bodies of standing water that you cannot drain. If you see a sick or dead bird, contact your local health department. They will determine if the bird should be picked up for lab testing. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe.